All right, folks, and welcome to another Aeon Ultimate. I'm Hangman. Tonight, I'm joined by Jazzy G. Period. Hey, oh, my God. This is the first time we commentate offline. It's been a long time. Well, it, I mean, I haven't commented with you before, but like, uh, like, a, but like offline. Yeah, no, yeah, it's before, been a minute yeah. since we've had a local together. But here we are. Going to be holding it down tonight here. Here on Long Island, Aeon Ultimate. Decently sized bracket. I was a little worried at first because everyone came a little late. But we got about a 50-person bracket, so it's looking like it's going to be a nice one. We're starting things off with Gutburster versus Nesso. So it's going to be our game and watch uh, and a cloud. We've got plenty of them on the island, so th there is no shortage of matchup experience to be learned from Gutbuster. But we'll see how well Nesso can handle the game and watch as we start things off on Pokemon Stadium 2. So have you seen Nesso before, or...? Only a couple of times, although I do believe this is their stream debut. Ooh, okay. I now. definitely, you know, already, I kind of already love the way they're playing, but just whipping a few things already, not really being able to kind of just start something going. But definitely already, you know, a really good showing of just, you know, very good patience and whatnot. Yeah, you have to be mindful about your buttons against Game & Watch, especially if he's going to be harassing your ability to land. Game & Watch is able to juggle so well, especially against characters with fairly limited landing options. And given the percentage on board, uh, we're going to see Gutbuster go for kills pretty quickly. You know how it is with Game & Watch. Absolutely. We love seeing Game & Watch do the Game & Watch things. Except for when... Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, the fear got him. Trying to stall too long at the, the edge and didn't have any resources to come back. It's the fear of the two-dimensional man for me. You got that kind of fear? I don't have that fear. <laughs> <laughs> that down smash is kind of spooky, I'm not going to lie. And, you, and we not done with spooky season yet? I don't know. Not until turkey day. Turkey day. Turkey day. Turkey day. Turkey day. All right, but it's still early on in game one. There's plenty of opportunity for Nesso to turn a reversal, and Lord knows Cloud Button's got the opportunity for that. But he's got to be careful with these limit blade beams. Absolutely. That's the second time it's actually gotten, you know, bucketed, and they now don't even have resources, and they're going to die for that. What? Oh, and his controller disconnected. Oh? Oh, he's not with it. All right. Oh, no. Back in the zone. Good. Well, Gutbuster doesn't have any reason to approach. It looks like they're talking out if he's going to be dropping the stock. Looks like Gutbuster's going to let him rock. So, good man. Period. He don't need the freebie. <laughs> he, I, I mean, already doesn't look like he needs that. No, freebie. yeah, he got the 3-1 lead. And 72% the grand scheme of things, that's not that bad for Game & Watch, even though he is on the lighter end of the cast. Absolutely. And, I mean, with this type of lead, like, you know, <laughs> what can Nesso really do? He's got to be mindful about the buttons that he's pressing on the ground. He's got to try to not to be in the air so much because look at all the damage that Gutbuster racks up on him once he jumps. It also just looks like they aren't really too sure of, oh, well, what really to do when they're on the ground, you know. Oh, and he wasted the judge too. I swear, it only happens to him. That's the only time I ever see him get the side B9, but he don't need it. Down smash, forward smash gives him the first game of the night. Oh, and got all the fans watching too. But yeah, that was definitely a really good start for Gutbuster, and Gutbuster just, I, I, w I would say that's convincing, but also that was just a little bit of unfortunate, you know, the, the controller and then just having to play through that. Yeah, young lad looked a little flustered against Gutbuster, but he can still bounce back. There's plenty of opportunity. Battlefield's going to be the pick for game two. And just as a note for regular viewers, uh, stage list a little different tonight. We are adding an additional ban and Hollow Bastion as a counter pick. Ooh, so we have 10 even, stages, three uh -huh. bans. New York, who, well, we are the New York. We're the better New York. This is, there's a lot of experimentation <laughs> that goes down. In, in Faces House, you're always going to be studying something new. And uh, I guess this is a step away from the Smash World Tour rule set as Smash World Tour finds its conclusions. But regardless, Battlefield. Pretty traditional uh, counterpick stage, I would feel, at least here. Under the likes of Donkey Kong, it's a little different. I'm a little bit more confused as to why they're going like Donkey Kong on Battlefield, which is not a bad choice, but, you know, they definitely feel like it would have been a little bit better for Cloud, just because of, you know, being able to, you know, um, juggle, being able to have platforms for normal routes and whatnot, and, oh. All right, he'll make it work, though. He'll make it work. <laughs> period, period. Game Watch dying at 29? Yeah, uh -huh. no, he'll make it work. <laughs> Not, 
Well, that's a really good start for Nessa right now, and I'm... Oh, they're just going to get hit with the chair. That was a really heavy deficit, though, all things considered. So, like, if Nessa can make the magic happen again, game three is possible. Absolutely. But you're right. Like, Battlefield, definitely a much better stage for Cloud than I'd say for DK. But on top of that, like, you're giving Battlefield to Game & Watch. If Gutbuster wants to, he can just sort of chill beneath the plats. He can chill at center stage. There's a lot of opportunity for him to just do that. Up be out of pressure and call it a day. I mean, honestly, what can you really do if, you know, Game Watch is just holding so much power over you and you're a big monkey? You're a big monkey who hits hard. Like, that's the main value of Donkey Kong. All right, buddy. All right. He's got those. And the up and smash? Yeah. The up smash. So, yeah, that's kind of how this matchup is going to go. Like, on paper, yeah, Donkey Kong should be losing. But that's not going to make hit him hit any less hard. Absolutely, and that's not going to take it. However, we still are off stage, and I'm wondering, wow, if we're going to see you know Nesso take a very early stock for this last stock right here. Gutbuster's but, not going to let him get the chance though with all that rage. Absolutely, and this is kind of where we need to see Nesso just really put all the force that he has so he can take this second game or yeah this first game second game. Yeah, we're in the game two. If, <laughs> if he can bring it to game three, it'd be a real good look, given how rough game one was for him. And but it's the, looking, the barricade's coming through. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Really try to read that roll right there. Not going to get too much, but got to be really careful because we are trying to land. And I don't know what all the... Ooh. Oh. Rough DI. Unfortunately, that's going to do it. That's 2-0 for Gutbuster.